Keenan Flagler is the name of the business school at UNC, but that name is also tied to two people who years ago tied the knot. Tonight, on the eve of their wedding anniversary, we find our Tar Heel traveler in Duplin County. Scott Mason is in Keenansville, remembering the ceremony of the century. This is Liberty Hall in Keenansville, a symbol of family pride and fabulous wealth. A marriage of them both. Mary Lily Keenan was Marion Henry Morrison Flagler. He was one of the world's wealthiest men, a railroad and oil man. And she, a Keenan from Keenansville. She was very sophisticated. She was well educated. What was the date of the wedding? August the 24th, 1901. The wedding at Liberty Hall, the Keenan home in Duplin County. Well, what was unusual about it was the fact that it took place in a little town like Keenansville. It took place in the parlor. And if you can imagine 27 people in this room with no electricity and no air conditioning. It was 1901, in August. I always have to think Mr. Flagler must have loved Mary Lily to put up with the wedding here when it could have been done some other place. How old was she? She was 34. He was 71. But now one must keep in mind that he was considered one of the richest men in America. And you know green makes a man look good. Mary Lily didn't look so bad herself. Now this is the gown Mary Lily wore when she married Henry Flagler. This is the actual gown? This is the actual gown, all made by hand. She was just a tiny thing. With a beautiful singing voice. And when you read about her, it says she was very buxomist. So I'm saying way back in 1901, we had a Dolly pardon and didn't even know it. There was no radios, no stereos. Today, Liberty Hall is open to visitors. This whole house is made from pine. The house closed in 1906 and deteriorated. It was about to fall down. And then it was restored in 1964. And we have many pieces of original furniture. And the Keenan Flagler wedding announcement. We just didn't have weddings like that. And I'm absolutely sure I've never attended anything that would have been like it. Henry gave his new bride a million dollar check and a 26 bedroom home in Palm Beach. Now that was just a little wedding gift. The Keenan Flagler marriage lasted 12 years until Henry's death in 1913. Do you think they loved each other? Absolutely. She was the love of his life. Maybe their love was priceless. That's right. And after the wedding ceremony at Liberty Hall on August 24th, 1901, the newlyweds boarded Henry Flagler's private train, traveled to New York, where the guests included the Vanderbilts and Rockefellers who toasted them with an elaborate dinner reception. How about that story?